Hey guys, this is going to be a quick marker and color pencil tutorial on drawing the evil queen. Uh, Alright, let's go ahead and get started. Alright, so um, this is kind of tricky because I'm combining two different reference images together. Uh, one is the Gal Gadot Snow White and one is a classic animated version. So to start off, I'm going to be using a Cool Gray 4 marker and I'm going to use that to kind of um, do my rough sketch. Now, one thing about the marker that's really great is um, at first it starts off really dark, but then it gradually gets a little bit lighter. Um, so I'm using the Cool Gray 4, but it's like if you want to use a Cool Gray 3 or Cool Gray 2, that's totally fine. Uh, because I'm teaching a class, I want to make it a little bit darker so the students can see a little bit better. Um, but yeah, I'm just kind of doing a rough sketch here, getting my proportions in. Um, you'll notice that I just shortened the crown a little bit because it wasn't looking quite right. You know, I'm trying to make kind of like a hybrid of these two reference images. And uh, yeah, at this point, I'm going to go ahead and start using my fine pen. I like the, using these Sharpie pens. I talk about them a lot. I think they're cheaper than the Stadlitter. Uh, fine liner or sakura ones which are pretty expensive so this is a normal office supply you know that i use for an art material if you buy a normal pen that it's meant to be an art material it's going to be a lot more expensive all right at this point i'm starting to use the black marker to start um, just making anything that's black uh, when i start with color black first um, it kind of sets the darkest dark right and then it it really grounds everything you guys feel that so i start with the darkest colors next i'll go ahead and get my purple and um then again that's also one of my darkest colors it helps really ground everything i go from dark to light all right and i uh, went ahead and filled in the apple and the crown as well just using markers flat colors here and now i'm using a cool gray six to do dramatic shadows on the face and on the fingers and the hands um, this is going to really uh, be nice because I'm going to use color pencil later and just add a light skin tone on the face and everything. Okay, so I'm using the white color pencil now and um, I'm just adding highlights to everything here. Um, highlights on all the clothing. Uh, this is one of my favorite parts. So, all right, here's my uh, colored pencil. I'm using the colored peach and I'm just adding a little bit of lightness to it. And I'm adding a little bit of red and, and purple for the makeup and stuff as well. So now I'm uh, just doing some shading with the color pencils, uh, making things a little bit darker, a little bit lighter. This part's pretty fun. Um, I'm also going to add like a little bit of a green glow from underneath too. That's going to be pretty cool as well. And uh, yeah, that kind of sums it up. I also added a little bit of border to bring out the white collar. And yeah, that's about it. Um, I finish it off with um, a white gel pen. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.